Good morning, everyone. Welcome to um, Blaze on Sunday, the 3rd of May. We say together, hello, I'm not too proud, I'm not ashamed, no need to hide my face. I'm just standing here, just as I am, in my own little space. Hello God, I like being here with you, with all these other people. Take a moment to sit quietly and be fully present to God. Remember and give thanks for all the ways that God provides for you. Rejoice in the rest that God offers us when we are in God's presence. Commit ourselves to be guided by God, to trust in God's wisdom, Open yourself to the generosity of God's love that's beyond measure, beyond words, beyond our imagining. Praise God that in times of joy and celebration, God is with us. And remember that God is with us in times of sadness, confusion and loss. God is with us. For all time and in whatever we face, God is our shelter, our security, the place where we will find a home. Amen. We just take a moment to think back over this past week at the things that we want to say sorry for. And together we pray, Father God, we are sorry for the things we do and say and think which make you sad and for not thinking of others before ourselves. Please forgive us and help us to love you and other people more and more. Amen. When we truly say we're sorry, God promises to forgive us. May the God of love bring us back to himself, forgive us our sins and assure us of his eternal love. In Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. So in the service today, we thought about what connects these four. And they're all sheep. Lance Corporal Darby was a Sweldale Ram and was the official mascot of the Mercian Regiment. Monticiel was um, one of the sheep that the Montgolfier brothers, Joseph and Jacques, who invented the hot air balloon. He went on one of the first air balloon rides for two miles over Paris. Dolly was the first animal, mammal, that was cloned 
from an adult cell, and Sean was a Wallace and Gromit sheep. A reading from John chapter 10, verse 1. Jesus said, I am like the good shepherd who takes care of his flock of sheep. He knows the names of all his sheep. When he calls them, they follow him into the safety of the sheepfold. And when he calls them out, they follow him wherever he goes, because they know and trust him. But if a stranger gets into the sheepfold and calls to the sheep, they refuse to follow because they do not know the stranger's voice. The gatekeeper only opens the gate for the good shepherd. Thieves and robbers try to break into the fold to steal the sheep, but the shepherd protects them from danger. The people listening to Jesus still did not understand what he was saying, so he said to them, I am just like the gate of the sheepfold. All those who went before me were thieves and robbers who wanted to lead the sheep astray, but the sheep did not listen to them. I am not like a thief who comes to steal and kill and destroy. I am the gate. Whoever enters by me will be saved and will come in and go out and find pasture. I came that the sheep might have a full and happy life. In Jesus' time, and up to fairly recently, sheep were shepherded in the same way in the Middle East. Sheep were kept primarily for wool, and so lived a relatively long life. Their shepherd would get to know them very well, would have a name for each sheep, and in turn, the sheep would get to know the shepherd very well, would recognise the particular tone of their shepherd's voice learn to trust their shepherd for their safety and for leading them to still waters and good pasture. Sheep can't swim very well, so that's why they needed safe water to drink from. Sheep aren't particularly good at locality and easily get lost. Good pasture wasn't easy to come by in the dry uplands of Judea. There were wolves and bears and robbers, all looking for their next easy meal. It wasn't so easy being a shepherd or a sheep. Every so often, the shepherds would bring their sheep down to Jerusalem and they would be herded together in big pens. No markings or brands to distinguish each herd from the other. In the morning, as they all went their different ways, how did each shepherd take the right sheep with him? Each shepherd would call each of their sheep by name. They had lived and shared together a long time. And so the personality and physical characteristics of each sheep, each torn ear, each limp, each flecked eye, each stumpy tail, would be recognised by the shepherd. The sheep would not only recognise their name when called, but they recognised the shepherd's voice. Just as they were known as individuals, so they knew the shepherd as an individual and could distinguish his voice distinct over all others. When the flock was up in the hills, each evening the shepherd would herd them into a small stone pen with one small entrance. Over the walls were briars. The only way in was that small entrance. As they went in, each sheep would step over the stick that the shepherd held across the entrance and would be examined for pests and diseases. When they were all in, the shepherd would lay across the entrance to sleep. The only way to the sheep was through them. If I asked you to describe yourself as an animal, I don't suppose many of us would describe ourselves as sheep. But that's what we're being called here. 
we are called by name and known as individuals by God who flung the stars into space. Jesus knows about the bits of us we don't like, the things that we're afraid of, what we worry about. That calling by God to be our truest selves is often misheard, resisted or ignored by us. There are so many other things that call, voices that sound so much more exciting, so much more seductive. That new pair of trainers which would just look so good on you and make your friends drool. That new computer game maybe, voices that tempt us to misbehave, to gossip, to follow the paths that lead to addiction, to self-harm and to low self-esteem. Like the shepherd knows us as individuals, we have to learn the shepherd's voice, calling us to safety, giving us assurance of protection. Knowing Jesus is a matter of personal relationship with all the risks and vulnerabilities that personal relationship entails. Jesus says that his sheep follow him. Those who belong to Jesus know his voice and so they are willing to follow him and let him lead the way. There are some people who don't listen to Jesus' voice and they get lost and instead of leading them, Jesus has to follow them into danger and guide them back to safety. The good news for today is that the love of our shepherd Jesus is such that whether we listen and follow or whether we go astray and have to be followed, Jesus always calls us by name and takes us to a place of abundance in all the ways that we talked about earlier.
And so we come to our prayers. God of life, we pray for people who are homeless, for those who will go to bed hungry, and for those who are lonely or afraid. We pray for those who are in pain and for those who cause pain to others. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Meeting together with glad hearts, Jesus, send your spirit and fill us to overflowing. Sharing your gifts together, Jesus, send your spirit, fill us to overflowing. Seeing change lives and transformed communities, Jesus, send your spirit, fill us to overflowing. Amen. Abundant God, fill us up this week. When we are worried or happy, when we are with others or alone, when we feel tired and when we feel most alive, guide us home to you. Amen. And together we pray the Lord's Prayer, whichever language or version you feel most comfortable. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. So notices for this week is thank you all for coming. There'll be a night prayer on Wednesday, which I will send an invite to, um, or it will also be on our Facebook page. And lastly, when I go visit my people who are not on the internet, they give me their collection. So please remember your collection and put it to one side for us. We end by singing the grace. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God our Father and the fellowship, the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us forevermore and evermore and evermore. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God our Father and the fellowship, the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us forevermore and evermore and evermore. Amen. We go into the world to walk in God's light, to rejoice in God's love and to reflect God's glory.